is Staff Sergeant Austin Westjohn, and I'm a trombonist with the United States Army Band Pershing Zone. Today, I'd like to talk to you about developing a great high range on the trombone. Certainly, as brass players, all of us want to be able to do three things. Loud, high, and fast. There's a lot more to good brass playing than just these skills, but it is important to be able to do them well. So, high playing, how do we do it? I think this is a question a lot of people ask, and it's an important one. But I think the most important thing that I would say to somebody that's working on their upper register is be patient. A lot of young players get frustrated with themselves and decide to quit. And as we know with anything, if we want to get good at something, we can't quit. We have to be patient. And so I'm going to give you an exercise today from the Remington Warm-Up Studies for Trombone. And it's a variation of that that is something that you can take with you and put in your warm-up routine or something that you can work on in your practice to work on your high range. So this exercise starts like this. It starts in alternate sixth position uh, on an F, alternate sixth. We're going to play an arpeggio up to a high F, and then we're going to breathe around the mouthpiece so that we're not changing our armature, tongue the note, rearticulate it, and then come back down. So like this. And so, when we do this, the, the idea behind this exercise is to be nice and smooth, to make sure you're blowing through each partial. Uh, I think about it kind of like uh, when you're, you're driving a car and you're going up to a speed bump. You have to give the car just enough gas to get over that bump, and so we have to give a little bit more air to get to that next partial. Um, and then the, the design behind this exercise is to keep going up the slide. And so then when you go to fifth position, fourth, third, second, and first, and what we end up on is a high B flat in first position. So. <laughs> So give yourself, when you do this exercise, in sixth position, fifth position, fourth position, third, second, first, and so on, give yourself some time. Uh, be patient with yourself. This can take uh, even weeks of doing this every day, just making sure that you're real comfortable with it. When it feels comfortable for you, uh, add the next partial up. So I like to go in sixth position and then go up the next note in the harmonic series, so like this. <laughs> and so on and so forth. Same thing, give yourself some time to do this and make it very comfortable. Make sure the lips are reacting to the speed of the air when you do this, that's very important. When that feels comfortable, then add the next partial. So you're gonna go up uh, three partials now and then back down. And so on and so forth. And then finally, the last variation I do whenever that feels comfortable is going up five notes in the harmonic series from that F. And so what this does is by the time we get to first position, we're playing a high F. And so in sixth position, it goes like this. <laughs> So we go do that exercise in each position until we get the first. And so we're playing a high F by the time we get to first position. 
But this doesn't happen overnight. This is something that takes uh, weeks and, or even months of, of practice and working on, throwing it in your routine until it feels comfortable. But it's a great exercise that has helped me a lot over the years. Some other concepts that I think about with uh, high range playing, uh, one is the concept of whistling. And so if you think about a whistle, What's changing the pitch when I do that? Well, it isn't anything that's happening in my face here, but it's inside my mouth, my oral cavity. So the space inside my mouth, what's happening is my tongue, as I ascend when I whistle, and, and you, if you can whistle, you can do this as well, is what happens is your tongue gets higher towards the roof of your mouth, and as you descend, it gets lower. And this is similar to what happens when we play in the upper register on a brass instrument, is our tongue placement gets higher. And so what this does is if we're thinking about the syllable, is it creates more of an E. And so we go from ta -e in the upper register. This is a very helpful concept that has helped me because when I think about using an E, it sets me up for playing high. And so if I'm going to play... For instance, bolero, um, starting on a high B flat. I'll think about E as I do that. Obviously, we all know that when we play high, we have to use faster air because the air gets smaller up there. Faster, more direct, focused air. But I think that thinking about the syllable will help as well. The other thing is that when I'm playing that note, or any high note, for instance, the air is very compressed. And so there's some compression that's happening here. We want to make sure that when we play high, we're nice and relaxed. So we're not, there's no tension here. There's no tension in the throat. There's no tension in the shoulders. There's none of that. We're nice and relaxed. Our posture is good. But there's some compression down here that's built up to play that note. And so you can think about um, a couple different concepts. One would be like air leaking from a tire. The other would be, um, I think about kind of a cat uh, when it makes a, the, the noise of If you do either one of those things, you'll notice that your abs feel very firm when you do that. Try that. Or the tire. Your abs feel very firm. And that's the effect of when we play in the upper register. But keep in mind, everything else, nice and relaxed. Fast air, relaxed throat, relaxed everything else. The last thing I would say is make sure that you're patient with yourself. I'll echo what I said at the beginning of the video. Make sure that you are patient. These things take time. I also like to do a lot of glissandos when I'm working on the upper register. And so just playing scales, uh, one of the great things about playing trombone is the slide. And so if we take the tongue out of the equation and just focus on air and the lips reacting to the speed of the air, it can be really fun to play scales, uh, two octave scales for instance. And so we can do lots of different scales, but I think it's important to be able to do this to focus on an evenness of sound in every range. So I'm starting on middle F for instance. <laughs> as I'm going higher, but blowing faster air to be able, supporting from here with that compression, being relaxed, nice and easy, uh, and also being patient with myself because I couldn't do that when I first started playing, but it's something that happens with the process of time. So I hope this has been helpful for you. Good luck and happy practicing.